Hmm. From uh, fun weekend. From lucky thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, somehow the event went very smooth. Uh, everything up until the event was like this. Was chaos. Yeah. A little bit. No organization was. Uh, I would say good. Video quality was excellent. Sound was all good. Mm -hmm. No, no much problems with uh, some some uh, breaks between or always good. No, except ma matches were running smooth. Exactly. Well, except all the things that happened a little bit before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Except except uh, my arm wrestling friends and then guys who are watching and asking like why Engin is sitting in in his uh, orthosis in the first or second row. That's probably. Yeah. Only not so, <laughs> but 13. So, so, yeah, well, Eng Engin was uh, extra unlucky this weekend. Ah. Uh, but I think I, I talked to him today. He said he's feeling much, much better. He's sounding much, much better. So mm -hmm. he, he'll be fine. He just had to survive it. And I think the str extra stress and everything, right? And uh, so we, we, could, we, could, we could imagine that's the deepest point And uh, no, it's <laughs> every, like just going just up. Just going up, just going yeah. up. And, uh, just going up uh, in less than a month, less than a month, no, yeah, less than a month now from today, uh, East versus West 14 in Orlando, we're going to talk about that, Janis is going there, he's going to pull there, I'm going to be there as usual, uh, but right now, let's uh, focus on this event, let's talk about some things that happened, uh, we had 15 great arm wrestling super matches lined up, and potential on many of them to be a war was high, but we just saw maybe one real war, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Main event, Vitali Morozo, also one of one of best fights before before a tournament. I thought uh, Bojidar, Daniel, yeah. also Travis, uh, Sergey Kanchenko fights. You can, you can, you can, when we were discussing about that, we told there could be a good fight, there could be a war, there could be a three-two, but you you can never. Uh, never before fight, know in what shape athlete will show up. Yeah. Those are factors we can talk about some history, what has happened before, about some results, who has won, who has lost. Yeah. That's, that's a new day, new start, new fight. And uh, if one of athletes shows in a, I would say, best life of, best shape of his life, like, yeah. like we saw Vitaly. Or Petrenko. Or Petrenko. Or right. Petrenko. Same. Petrenko yeah. did they can. Then it's, it seems like it's so one-sided fight. And, and be, before that, they both have showed quite a similar uh, results and, and sometimes struggle with same athletes. Yeah, that's, that's, and it's, and it's always uh, also, that's a fun part of, part of sport that you can never know. You can never know. And, and uh, Petrenko, I, I didn't expect that. Same, same as Vitaly, same as may, maybe with Daniel Bojdar, I, ki I kind of thought it could go so, so one-sided, but still I hope that, uh, that Bojdar will be able to, to show something, but sorry, <laughs> this time. Yeah, I was, I was going to, I, I got a lot of these matches, right? Uh, but I, I thought it would be harder. I thought Petrenko would win, but I thought it would be harder. I think Petrenko, like the form and the matches that you, you know, you kind of history, you pull, you kind of get a sense where the levels are mm -hmm. with arm wrestlers when they're similar, especially. And I thought Petrenko will be like, I thought that he can will be much more on first two rounds and then it will be harder for him to beat Petrenko. But uh, it was the opposite. Petrenko was kind of slowing down at the end, but still. Probably not because he was gassing out. It was no. He, but he, he said he said he got a little bit. He's like, I was afraid I'm going to get too tired too fast. No, but he he was in control, and when you are in control, I I, I believe he was yeah. all good with him. And uh, and and Dalikian was in great shape. He was big and strong. And yeah. uh, it's it's not Dalikian didn't lose because he was weak. Not no, because he was no, in no, bad no. shape. Not because no, some no, no. injuries. Just Petrenko showed up in a fantastic shape. Yes. Most likely strongest, strongest Oleg he, he has ever been. And, and Daddy Kian himself said after fights that uh, the o only time he has felt someone so strong against him is when he's pulling with Denis Tsiplenko. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good compliment for uh, Oleg Petrenko. It's a good compliment and uh, well, well deserved. What's next for him? Uh, it's a. Uh, Maybe, maybe, maybe Devon. Maybe Devon. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, right. Right now at one o five. Yeah, 
But actually, like I was thinking, like uh, at 150, I would really love to see Ibrahim Sago mm-hmm. versus Devon Laird. Mm. 150. 150 years. You know, styles make matches, and I think this that would be a great match. With Sago, with Sago, uh, he's almost almost uh, able to get inside with everyone. Yeah. And and in his mind. He will get inside with Devon as well. When you ask him, he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I will just Michael Todd." I he said, "Like, I'll, I'll just cook Michael yeah, Todd." Yeah, yeah. With Michael Todd, he said, "I will just curl. Yeah. Just need to curl a little bit my wrist, and, and I will be inside." And face was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> so in his mind, he's. But also from from fight perspective and and from uh, our what we would love to see in a fight, he can pull great without a hand. He can he can he can still press even when he don't have this wrist control. He's still super dangerous and, and he's not giving up. No, no. Only, no. I think in the last few years, only time when I saw that someone is top rolling uh, Saigo was uh, Tautillo, Georgi Tautillo in yeah. AMC event in uh, Chechenia or Grozny or it, where it was. And that's the only time. And, and also it was in a qualification. Then in final, still Saigo was able to press, uh, press Tautillo. Yeah. So. I, I think that's a potential matchup in the future and a really exciting one. Because he's been looking like a destroyer. And uh, I, I, he, he said on an interview, he's like, all the respect to Chance. He's like, I didn't prepare like as I would to prepare for like someone bigger. He's like, I, I, I knew I'm going to win. And, mm. you know, it's, um, I, I think he could show up in a better shape for sure. And he wasn't really fast. He was kind of slowly engaging with, with Chance there. And um, You think it's because he was quite sure before that he I will get in his yeah, position and yeah. he didn't that's what he said yeah yeah you know so sometimes it is like you're facing someone or, or, or chance slowed him down chance yeah. Ch- chance, chance is, is able to top roll chance yeah it's uh, he was not favorite in that fight no 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 but he's dangerous he's dangerous and uh, oh. it's uh, he's, he, he's uh, fought great with Petrenko with Kalinchenko so chance is an awesome arm wrestler and, and speaking of Kalinchenko right Came in with a solid game plan and just, uh, I think everything ended on round number two with Travis. Round number one, he was like, okay, round number two, he didn't even get to his one, two, three steps, right? He didn't even go through them and uh, uh, he felt just too much. And yeah, it's, it's not happening often when, when someone is not able even to get his straps. And Travis? Yeah. He, he, he was trying to get his straps. He's like, just give us his yeah. straps and yeah. he couldn't. Yeah. Kalinchenko, great showing. Uh, a lot of people saw him because, again, Devon backed uh, Travis, so a lot of people saw mm-hmm. him as a huge underdog. I saw him as a favorite. I thought that uh, I don't think Travis was ready that fast. Too short, for, too short. Yeah, too short time. Kalinchenko is right there at the top, in my mm-hmm. opinion, right? He's very close to that top 20, whatever. But he right? showed up also in great shape, and he Big, said, strong. We talked with him before, and, and he said, like, uh, if Travis will beat me, then he's really ready for something big, yeah. really for something big, because yeah. he felt like he is ready to, to do something big, and he showed. Yeah, he and showed Jango us. was uh, in great both, shape. Both Ukrainians, Oleg Petrenko, Sergei Kedzhi, bo- both did fantastic and, and so, so controlled, and uh, in, in, in both of those fights, I... Listen, is, is Travis going to pull the next event for two, right? But lefty, right? Lefty. Corey West? Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. Corey West is bad, dude. He's bad, dude. He he pulled in a challenger series with uh, Derek Smith with left, yeah. 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 But, uh, but that's Cor- Derek Smith. But Corey West is, Come is on, Derek, le- yeah. especially left arm probably left. is, is yes. different, 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 different class. Different. And his ability to to yes. hold someone with hand, with to yeah. control hand is is really good. His his hand restraint. It's very solid. It's not easy to get out of that hand. Yeah. Will be interesting match. Very interesting match. But, but I think Travis is still But stylistically, it's a big difference, right? now. better for better for, for Very Travis. possibly. Yeah. Bef- right now, with Konchenko, he is a si- similar style armor slayer like Travis. He also is not super endurable. He's so good, good in those first few rounds. He's great without his traps. He, he can just control your wrist. He's where, ability where, where to hold. I see uh, Konchenko, he's more here. And Corey West will be more here, mm, right? Absolutely. And that gives a time for Travis to get where Travis mm. wants. Let's see if he can do it because I think uh, Corey West will be big and strong and very ready. He mm-hmm. hasn't pulled in a while, so mm. he has to be. He has to be. Yeah. Um, uh, Tuoms, 
uh, as expected, we, we expected nothing less. I think uh, Artem came in with a great game plan. He was great at getting out, getting to the strap, but... Uh, you know, not strong enough. Not strong enough, mm -hmm. no. No, no, Tops, Tops did good, we prepared good, the training went well, all, all was good. All was yeah. good, there was no really nothing about to complain about before yeah. event, and, and he, felt, he felt good. Uh, like, uh, we did training, it uh, was Thursday today, we did Tuesday training, and then, and then in main exercise, with left arm, Tom's like, we, we did one set with right, then other set left, and Tom's like, okay, it's sensitive, shoulder is sensitive, elbow yeah. is sensitive. So, uh, from he, side, he hard. of he course, hard. From, yeah. from side, it seems like uh, it's, it's so yeah. easy and it's just like a warm-up. Actually, still, even, even yeah, it was, it was a stress. And so, Artem was good. Exactly, was good. exactly. Was and uh, Artem is, uh, that, that's, that's why he is doing so good in a... North America and, and USA, and, and yeah. he, he well deserves that fight. And it was not so easy from, from Tom's as well. And the, definitely, like, if, if we are talking about some damage on arm, Tom's felt that. He felt that. He, even if his face is still like yeah, this yeah. poker rock face, nothing is changing. Like, ah, is it uh, just a regular day in office? Yeah. He felt uh, <laughs> <I'm cigarette. laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But for, yeah, for, for him, like, like I thought before, uh, Artyom is stylistically, I wouldn't say easy opponent for him, him but uh, I don't see for Artyom much, much options. Uh, options how he could enter a fight, how he could get in his best position with Storms, because he's, Storms is so good with that control that he can put Artyom in a bad position, a position Storms wants, and, and to win Storms from that position is... Yeah. Um, so, w women matches, uh, the one back and forth was uh, Ayana Takenanka mm. and Dimitrina Petrova. Uh, so, a lot of people, uh, they're like, you know, they feel like Takenanka got robbed or she didn't, like, uh, Dimitrina didn't deserve to win. And um, I feel more emotionally, like, I think Dimitrina won because she was better armor slayer. Takenanka was stronger armor slayer on that day. That's how I feel. But I feel emotional, like, yeah, I feel, I feel bad that she didn't win because she was doing really well. But yeah. that's how I'm saying. I think all the calls were done right. Mm -hmm. I don't think, like, because there was, like, at the start, she finished, there was an elbow fault. They gave a foul, right? They restarted mm -hmm. it. Elbow was off the path. Things like that. So I think referees were consistent. I still have to rewatch the match, but I think everything was, was you know, how it is. And uh, it mm -hmm. stayed like this. It was just frustration because she was in a great shape yeah, she, yeah. she beat her in every yeah. move if, which was insane if if you talk about takanaka were stronger arm wrestler for sure he she won first two rounds yeah in in a position where Dimit dimitrina is really strong yeah in her move yeah and he she shows that yes Probably physically, I'm stronger, but arm wrestling is fight sport, combat sport, technical, tactical, strategy, and uh, at the end, this I time, think, this uh, time Dimitrina did better, and, and I would love to see a rematch hmm. because I think it would be even crazier. Yeah, but also we have to remember there are many good or super strong, talented arm wrestlers in the 60 kilo class. Carolina, same Olga, same uh, Vicky Carson. There are many great arm wrestlers who could yeah, yeah, yeah. be in definitely, that definitely. In, 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 in that uh, fight for a top place. And uh, definitely, I would love to see some other names as well. But yeah, yeah, that that fight put some questions. Uh, yeah, it was more because like if you watch the match, you see, you can see she's dominating. She's clearly, mm -hmm. but then she missed a few go. And Dimitrina getting her really good position, you can't get her out of there, right? Uh, when she enters and she enters here, she can fight. But when she's here, you can't really get her out. Mm -hmm. So uh, she did like good armistice should experienced armistice, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's yeah. what she is. And uh, that's how the match went. Um, we'll see what happens in the future. Definitely one of those girls going to have a title shot or maybe Takanaka one more time. It's uh, definitely going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. Barbora and Egle. Uh, did you expect such a domination? No, no, oh. no, no. We, we, we were we were talking uh, quite a lot about uh, this, fight, this fight before, and uh, potentially biggest unknown of Barbora is that she is young. She is improving competition for competition. Every event she every event she shows up, she is I would say stronger, better, smarter, and that's how it should be. If you are twenty four, what twenty four, five. 
24. 24. That's how it should be. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's she, the biggest she, she, unknown. She doesn't take much damage. She just yeah, goes exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and that's what she did. She showed up bigger, stronger, better arm wrestlers than, than ever. And uh, and Eglet did good, but just, just overpower, just next level strength. And... Uh, I didn't. I didn't expect. Like I said before, I didn't expect uh, that uh, Barbora can show up in so good dominant yeah. shape. And uh, congratulations, she could be strongest arm wrestler ever, ever. If not now, and she's just twenty-four. If not right. now, in a few yeah, few years, we could we could say I, that I, maybe she's most dominant. But maybe Gabby. Yeah, but. Uh, we will see. We will Cause, see. Because that's going to happen, right? Next yeah. match will be Gabby. Yeah. And uh, Gabby has been really like I haven't seen her pulling. Uh, maybe few few tournaments or but she's been I think training we for have this. To, we have to remember previous fight Gabby and Barbora and Gabby was winning first rounds. Very and then, very comfortable. Exactly. Very and comfortable. then Barbora slowly 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 yeah. get in a fight and came back and won at the end. Yeah. If that what we will see next yeah. time. Then we have to say that maybe it's question still question who is the strongest one. But if Barbora will s have the same dominance like like she had with with Eglin, there'll, there'll, we'll be, no yeah. there'll be no questions. There'll be no questions. It will be. We'll yeah. see. That's yeah. Very very, very uh, th that match should happen. And uh, Makeyeva is talking about maybe Irina Makeyeva. Yeah. Right? Those who don't know who is Irina Makeyeva, you have to have to Google, have to Watch. find her in YouTube. Uh, she, she, in in for some period, she was she was the greatest or best woman arm wrestler in the world, and uh, just very very rare times when she were losing. Yeah. yeah. But she's not super heavyweight. No. No. Yeah. She and also also good. Gabby is not naturally super heavyweight. Yeah. If we look to size no, and no, no, and Gabby uh, was pulling seventy kilo women yeah, class yeah, and then eighty yeah, kilos and yeah. uh, she just. She just was so dominant that uh, we mm -hmm. had this question, and uh, yeah. it's good. But uh, yeah, right if now, you, if you look to Barbora, all the frame, was, size, hand, arms. The best she, comment was she, uh, she's she's real real super heavyweight. Yeah, Barbora and male Barbora. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. She she could be same same as dominant as as Lebanon uh, is right uh, now for the last few years and. Uh, yeah, very potential. She has the frame and everything. Build, and everything. she's very, very motivated. And dedication. dedication. Look at dedication. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to be. Uh, I hope this kind of changes her life. You know, makes uh, life better because mm -hmm. she is the number one female armist on the planet. Right, right now. now. Right, right now. now, number one. Even she was before. We just right and calls on to the title and let's see. Because uh, she just goes to competition. See, she pulled weak before. In Dobro mm. but it was like yeah, okay, it was not even a warm up for her. No, who gave a match? No, no one. No, no, of course not. So. <laughs> it's like okay, like she, I don't she was warm up. And, and then she just put on a shirt that just smashed everyone. That just uh, mm. so yeah, great, great, great to have Barbora. And uh, in, uh, if you haven't seen Devon and Barbora pulled a little bit, and Devon gave her some props, and uh, she is really strong. She is really strong for sure. Mm -hmm. um, what are we seeing? Well, the 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 big match, right? The Sasha and David. I, I really I really wanted David to win, but I didn't believe 100% that he can win. And be, you, you wanted because of what? Is that story? Is that yes, uh, the story. Yeah, nine. Champion is keep yes, going. Yes, and then yes. I, I'm there just for the story. And like, if if you look, gonna look back at his career, it's gonna be something incredible, right? Right now, it's the most insane thing we have seen in east versus west stage mm -hmm. um nine title defenses because pulled 10 events mm -hmm. came back after a big break pulled paul lynn uh paul was i think heavier uh lost to paul lynn three two or something uh and then she wants it too yeah yeah mm -hmm. and then and then just all this happened. Yeah. Every match has been crazy. Matches. His first fight for uh, Samushi after a long break, and then uh, not in his own weight category, but, yeah. but still, Paul Lin won against Paul Lin, yeah. Samushi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, I have to say, what impressed me most about that match, he beat him inside, and Sasha want nothing in that hook. He didn't want anything in. That if you talk hook. about Samushi and yeah. Sasha, yeah. First round, first round, uh, they went inside. Yeah. Sasha was gonna go outside, but Samushi turned him in. Yeah, yeah. It, it went inside, and and Sasha won inside as well. But uh, when we 
when we uh, talk about Sasho and know that he's so great inside yeah. armrest, let everyone talk like he's maybe most dominant. And then Listen, Samushi ima- won imagine in his the, game. Imagine the balls on Samushi. So he knows like it's hard to beat Sasho on inside. Yeah, but, 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 also, inside. but also, uh, right? we haven't seen Samushi going outside. So, no. so that's, what he, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what he does. So he's like, let's go. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, and, and, and that's who it should be. If yeah. you are pulling against someone and you know that that's your best move, go with start your with your best move. move. If it's not working, then try something else. Yeah, yeah. otherwise, no. Of he, course. Uh, just let let opponent to think about what to do, what what to find some uh, because that's your best move. Use it. Yeah. Okay. So it's surprise, fun. this works as well. Uh, you can surprise. Uh, but also we have to remember that in previous fights, Sasha was pulling John Brzezank and he went he went from uh, for top roll directly and it, he was successful. And I, I kind of thought that uh, mm-hmm. that's that's why in his head. Yeah. Yeah. He went for that as well. I, and I, like. Samushi's hand, especially in those first rounds, usually holds up. Then later he gets tired and mm-hmm. he loses. But he, he, he just like copped him. And Sasha, he's like, okay, cook. Mm-hmm. Right? And of course, the end and wait till the video is going to come out. We, we can talk later see, about maybe some uh, technical differences. Yeah, we there were a few, deep, things, deep there were few things about where, where pronation, where one was on more on biceps or, or uh, yeah. in, like a difference be- between uh, yeah. hook in a first round and hook in a second, second round. round. Because there was a difference. But uh, generally, that was a fight of the night for me. And uh, one zero for ones and one ones. Another takes two ones and two two. That's uh, great story. Yeah. Three, great match. Like four great two. Hours. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like three three. And then this golden bullet would be yeah. best you can ask. But still, fantastic. It's, it was insanely good match. Yeah. Uh, two. Awesome armistice. Samushi won again, which is insane. Mm. Uh, and I think for him, this was the biggest victory on East versus West stage because every true armistice. I, I would say knows, also the biggest name. Yeah, every true armistice knows who Sasho is. Mm-hmm. And that, like, that got him street credit, right? Yeah, yeah, on yeah. the streets, everyone of, knows. Of course, uh, Valo and Nurdelet and uh, all are great, but. Sasha. Right now, I would say Sasha, Sasha is. Uh, yeah. Biggest name. He I is. really, I, I thought, okay, he's losing weight and everything. I thought maybe, mm. I thought, but uh, it's so hard to beat Sasha. And he beat him. It's a absolutely amazing yeah. match. Haven't seen it. Match of the year. Wor- worst part of all is it, uh, that is that I don't know who, who can, who can uh, show up and uh, beat uh, Samushia now. That's, that's the worst part because uh, it seems like we are, uh, we are, we are, we are kind of... It's, we're playing a video game and the levels get higher and you l- reach the max level and you're like, easy. Yeah, but also right. Samushi is, with every fight, I think Samushi is growing. I think so He's too. growing, yeah. he's improving and, yeah. and we just, uh, at the moment, we don't have much more options. We can, I, I, I still have some names. I, I, st- I still believe uh, we could see some, someone like uh, from the Luya family. I see. Yeah, yeah. Someone from the Luyo family could could give or come down. super potential. Haji yeah, maybe if yeah. he's in shape. The, or, yeah, Alan, Alan or, or Haji. That could, yeah. be, that could that's a very potentially maybe maybe someone else from same region. Mm. Some some there are more great uh, Ossetinians who who, yeah. who could do that. Healthy, lighter, Rustam Babayo. Mm. But Rustam lately is more like 90, 95 kilos. I think, I think uh, Vladimir Mayorov with more time. Of, of course, of Nurdolet, course, right? of course. If if we Someone talk about uh, that, that uh, close. Sasha gave war, Nurdelet gave war, uh, also, also Vladimir. Yeah. They they all they were close. Yeah. And of course, in a different day, yeah, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's I mean, potential. Yeah. But it's if, potential. if we are looking around, some other yeah, other new guys. Challenges, yeah. yeah. I think Samushi is the only guy that every time he like uh, he has like 85. They have some matches in 85, but it's just he gets a new challenger. He hasn't faced the same guy twice. Yeah. Right. Everyone he just went to everyone, which is insane. So right now we really don't know who's the number two guy is in in the category, right? Sasha will not go back to 85. He came down just for this, and he said if he would win, he would not come down anymore. He would just yeah. vacate the title. He just came there to beat David. How, how much he had to cut, cut weight? I think he was uh, 92, oh. 7 kilos. Oh. Yeah. Be- yeah. Before, when he pulled with Arvijin in uh, Birmingham, yeah. 
he was he was like 87 88 yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. almost yeah. like in that 85 kilo category and uh, yeah. him him uh, and Boji Boji looked like someone else I don't know who that was that wasn't 10 years Bozzi. younger yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he younger so brother younger brother no beard it's, it was like <laughs> I was looking at him all the time and I'm like who are you <laughs> right um, what are we missing? Uh, yeah, if, if we talk about uh, Boji and uh, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel was strong. Daniel was strong and, and uh, Bo Boji was trying, of course, but he, yeah. he, he, he lost uh, pronation, his hand is flat and he's in this yeah, kind of really not potential position trying to press and, and maybe he can hold on a little bit, but not really to get in some uh, position he could, he could do much against Daniel. And, uh, uh, right, right now, if we talk about lightweights, uh, okay, mean the one right arm. Uh, after that, Daniel won against the Luya, but I don't see too much arm wrestlers who could beat uh, Daniel left arm. I don't see too much arm wrestlers as well. No, the, we, we there have, are a few names I could see could have some well, a lot uh, of potential. But that we have, what we yeah. have a lot of dominant champions. Uh, the craziest category has been 105, I think. The cha the title was. Uh, uh, exchanged how many times it was who was the first title uh, champion uh, Kidigali, mm -hmm. Todd, Dadikian, mm. Petrenko, right? Missing something? Uh, yeah, wasn't Todd Hutchings at some point, or he yeah, was yeah. Kidigali? Yeah, Todd. Yeah, Todd. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. That Todd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's there's categories like that, and uh, heavyweights we had um, we had Hermes, right? Uh, I think uh, Jerry, Jerry, Hermes, uh, Devon, Levon, mm. right? So all this is, and then some Mushi. <laughs> yeah, he's looking like John Jones here or something. Okay, with lightweights as well. Uh, Daniel, is that Mindy with right arm? Yeah. No, it's Makarov. Yeah. No, it's Makarov. Yeah. So it's it's still. I think uh, there's gonna be competition. Always gonna rise up, and yeah. you might sometimes not take your opponent too seriously, and someone can have your your. your I number. believe they all take seriously. Just just uh, it, it's it's sport, and uh, som yeah. sometimes you don't know how, how good someone can be. Yes. And exactly. with some good motivation. Yeah. And with some good motivation, Janis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70 million dollars. <laughs> when, 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 just, yeah. just date, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, East West, West 13 was, was awesome. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. We're gonna, mm. we're gonna do some uh, new segments, uh, DNF of a match. We're gonna take a match and look really deeply what got into those things and yeah, we have a lot of good ideas but uh, yeah. don't talk about them when we are still in just talking about them but we'll not see, doing them we'll see, we'll see. because as soon as <laughs> the match has happened so many times before and like oh yeah we will do that oh, for sure yeah for sure and then like oh, yeah. tomorrow maybe no yeah. oh, no next week better oh yes next week lazy and you know it's it's hot outside and, and, <laughs> and i'm sleepy and <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll figure it out guys we'll figure it out uh anyway uh this was East West West 13. Next is East West West 14. Orlando, August 10. Janis, Justin Bishop is going to be there. We have main event Leonidas versus John Brzezink and much more. It's going to be an epic card there, so don't miss it. Um, stay strong. And love Armistling. Get the t shirt.